This is what Luke does. He, puts, he compares people, uh, usually a religious man who should understand what Jesus is doing but never does. He, and he compares that usually with a woman who in Jesus' day were very marginalized. Better that the law be burned than given to a woman. See? Every time a man looks at a woman, he inherits Gehenna. See, women very marginalized. Uh, men didn't speak to their own wives in public in Jesus' day. The disciples are surprised not that Jesus is talking to a Samaritan. They're surprised that he's talking to a woman because you don't talk to women, okay? So Luke compares religious men who never get it with women who ought not to get it but always do, always intuitively understand uh, what Jesus is all about. And the first, the first uh, pair is one of the best. Think of this. First pair, he, can, he uh, contrasts Zechariah and Mary. That's the first pair. Who is Zechariah? He's a priest, right? Father of John the Baptist. Luke tells this long parallel birth narrative of Jesus and John, okay? So uh, a priest, where, where is John? I mean, where, oh, sorry, where is uh, Zechariah? He's in the holy place of the temple. Who's he talking to? Gabriel. Okay. A priest in the temple, talking to Gabriel. Now, he ought to get it, don't you think? Does he get it? No. Uh, how can I be sure of this, he says. See, he ought not to have said that. Right? <laughs> ought not to have said that. The same angel goes to Mary. Who is Mary? A woman, probably 15 years old, in Nazareth. We don't have time to talk about this, uh, but, but it, it, we don't appreciate uh, sort of, it, it was, Nazareth was the armpit of Galilee. Uh, we do not have any first century uh, archaeological remains from Nazareth. It's not because there wasn't anything there or because Nazareth wasn't there. It's just that it was mud huts, right? You go to Capernaum and there's beautiful first century, you know, uh, 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 diggings and things. But Nazareth, there's nothing there because it was such a, a hole in the wall, right? So Mary, who lives in Nazareth, and the, the, the angel tells her a much more unbelievable message. I mean, Zachariah's message was, you know, you and your wife are going to have this baby. I mean, at least it's going to be, you know, the old-fashioned way, <laughs> right? But it's a much more unbelievable story what Gabriel tells Mary, and what does she say? Behold, the slave of the master. That's what she says. Handmaiden of the Lord is, is not very good. She uses, or she didn't speak Greek, Luke, Luke uses uh, the word that's used is the doulos is the, the word for slave. Dulane is the female form. That's the word that's used. The slave of the kurios, and that's the word we translate Lord most of the time, right? The word kurios originally meant owner. So Mary is saying, God owns me. I'm the slave of the master. And uh, I love that idea. I like the fact that I'm owned. You know why he owns me? Because he bought me. <laughs>